I'm not acquainted with the statistics off the top of my head, but. And certainly from my observation it's growing. Uh, uh, the Islamic society at the university I attended, indeed I think every university I've attended, the Islamic society has been bigger than the Christian Union. Uh, so Islam certainly on the rise and I think it will have greater and greater influence. There are Sharia courts in the UK. France is a bigger problem with Islam at the moment. In Islam, there are so-called no-go zones where the police aren't allowed to enter and they're governed by Sharia law. France is a bigger problem with Islam at the moment. In Islam, there are so-called no-go zones where the police aren't allowed to enter and they're governed by Sharia law. Deceptive, dishonest. Isn't it a fact that many Muslims who have moved to France have organized certain neighborhoods and said, do not come here, Sharia law prevails here, and do not enter? There's certain enclaves, there's no go zones. Tell us about these Sharia environments now in, in France and in the West. The French government actually has them listed on a website, quite specifically, 751 of them. What Fox News has dubbed the no-go zones in France are actually, as Bloomberg Businessweek points out, neighborhoods that have been designated as priority areas for urban renewal. Some of them located in Paris's trendy, gentrifying neighborhoods, like, you know, empowerment zones or some such. In fact, the guy who claims to invented the concept of French no-go zones, right-wing commentator named Daniel Pipes, who first wrote about them back in 2006, he even now admits he was mistaken. But the truth that undermines the no-go zone hysteria doesn't seem to matter too much to many on the right. Deceptive, dishonest. These districts are do going to do nothing but grow, and then they're going to inevitably come into conflict with the non-Muslims around them. Fox News uh, helpfully posted a map of the so-called no-go zones in Paris, showing exactly where they supposedly are, a move that prompted an all-time great bit of mockery from French TV on a show called Le Petit Journal. Pour ceux qui ne connaissent pas Paris, on a envoyé notre équipe quadriller les quartiers interdits de la capitale. Selon Fox News, heureusement, ils avaient des casques. Voici les zones interdites de Fox News. Vous voulez qu'il y comment ce quartier Le quartier pas cher, sympathique. Euh... C'est tout, vraiment. Moi, je fais mes courses ici. On a à Belleville, il y a des Juifs, il y a des Arabes, il y a des Chinois, il y a des Chrétiens, il y a des athées, il y a tout. Est-ce que vous avez déjà vu des jeunes avec des t-shirts Ben Laden dans le quartier Non, non. Est-ce que c'est un quartier qu pourrait, qui pourrait ressembler à l'Afghanistan ou à l'Irak Non, je suis choqué. Alors là, la question est... Excusez-moi, mais elle est un peu stupide, là. Non, pas du tout. Deceptive, dishonest. <rire> Fox News does not often apologize for its errors or even acknowledge its errors, but it was forced to over the weekend. Uh, all last week in response to what was going on uh, after the Charlie Hebdo terrorist attacks, they began reporting on purported no-go zones in Paris and in some other countries like the UK. Areas that were not, the, the police couldn't go in there, the firefighters couldn't go in there, they were being run by Sharia courts and Islamic militants. That, of course, was not true. We showed at the time that it wasn't true. Deceptive, dishonest. We're forced to apologize. Uh, here is one of those instances. This is Fox News host Julie Benderas. A correction now. Over the course of this last week, we have made some regrettable errors on air regarding the Muslim population in Europe, particularly with regard to England and France. Now, this applies especially to discussions of so-called no-go zones, areas where non-Muslims allegedly aren't allowed in and police supposedly won't go. 
To be clear, there is no formal designation of these zones in either country and no credible information to support the assertion there are specific areas in these countries that exclude individuals based solely on their religion. <laughs> No credible information, but that did not stop them on almost all of their programs from running it all week long. The designation no-go zones, that is not something, as she said, that the French government didn't put out there, the UK didn't put out there. It was a conservative author who began using that term. And by the way, they didn't just say that it was in France and in the UK. They also talked about areas of the United States that were considered no-go zones, like Dearborn, Michigan, and places like that. They Deceptive, dishonest. <laughs> Damage is done. I mean, and think that that's part of the point of doing that. I don't mm -hmm. think that there was really any desire to do any kind of fact checking on these, you know, outrageous claims. Deceptive, dishonest. I, w I want to see the person who sent out a memo to all of their shows that you are going to advance these honestly Islamophobic comments about two of our closest military and economic allies. I want that person to apologize. The, uh, not a big story. It's not important. It just happens to be the story where Fox specifically got caught making something up. And these no-go zones are expanding, right? which is essentially tantamount to inviting a virus into your a civilization which is not um, is basically inviting a cancer into your civilization is going to expand um, because uh you guys are a cancer to society.